Well, YouTube, what the crap's going on? It is a rainy day in Gaul. We are back on the Caesar in Gaul campaign. And uh, we're going to, of course, get moving, hopefully, get back in the right direction here. We were doing pretty well so far. We were able to um, take the, the main settlement, uh, Uberzus, uh, here from the Suebi, who are now all suffering attrition since that was their last settlement. There's a Sequani warlord out there, but he's not really uh, my enemy, so I'm not too worried about what that warlord may be doing. Got some Latin culture being spread here. Especially since I've got so many of these buildings in Argentorate. Um, did my agent... I think my... Nope, he's still alive. He's patrician here. Yeah, I think he's still trying to spread Latin culture here. So they've, they've changed um, the culture system. And let me see if I can pull it up um, to try and explain. Um, they may explain it in the encyclopedia, but if you look at the... Uh, I'm trying to remember where I look at it. Okay, so here's the different cultures. Latin is 66% right now. If you look at it, it breaks down the, uh, the influence there. So the overall influence is 20 for Latin. The overall influence is 8 for Celtic, and the overall influence um, for Germanic is nothing. So uh, the whole culture system now works on equilibrium. So if I have, basically right now I've got 20 influence for Latin and 8 influence for um, Celtic, which means that it's going to find the equilibrium point that's equal fractionally to the total of that. So uh, it's basically, there's a total of you know, so much influence going on there, and if 66% if of it is Latin, it's going to equilibrium out to 66% Latin culture. The reason I don't like this system is some people say, oh, it's realistic, there's traditions, people don't just give those up and get converted. I agree with you, but in my opinion, it goes against some other gameplay mechanics that are happening in Rome 2. Number one, you're limited on the number of armies that you can leave to garrison because you have to recruit a general to have a garrison army. And there's big-time public order uh, losses basically due to not having fully converted one of these provinces. Well, when that happens, so see, look, if I go into my happiness, um, which we should have here somewhere, um, public order. So see cultural differences right there, minus six. That's never going to go away now. Used to, you could get that to go away. Um, it's not going to go away now. And the frustrating piece of that is is that all the buildings in Rome 2 either give you massive public squalor penalties or massive food penalties, and you have very limited slots to build buildings to increase the public order. And now I'm going to have to be building more buildings to increase the public order because of this whole cultural deal, or leave an army, both of which are extremely precious because both of which have been highly limited. Um, so something needs to give... I think they should either undo this cultural change and just go back to the way it was, or if you want this extra depth, you need to change something about the the penalties from the buildings. You shouldn't penalize me for building a larger temple to help take care of public order. I can understand if like a province maybe had like all military buildings and you're hurting public squalor, but one military building? I mean, you got to find some way to balance it, in my opinion. Anyway, that, that's my feedback for the day. I, I don't know if it'll get paid attention to, but I, so I actually dislike the new culture system for those reasons. I'm fine with it if you can find some way to balance it out. I don't think it balances well, though, with where the game's at. Anyway, that's my two cents for what it's worth, if anything. Um, looks like I was pretty close to ending a turn, probably, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I kind of do want to get Mark Antony um, busy doing something soon. Looks like he just needs some skirmishers in his army to have a complete army. And I can get some Celtic skirmishers to accomplish that. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn. Looks like the Swaby going to sally back against me. Uh, not a bad idea on their part, but again, they have a bunch more just crummy troops. Uh, that I don't think are going to be able to burst through even my, my own damaged troops. Especially since I have the walls on my side now, but... This will be fun. We're going to control the large army and, and take this fight. You, you all hear me um, 
griping about certain things in the campaign. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. I love this campaign. I love all the campaigns in Rome, too. But there's definitely some things about it I wish they'd improve. Like on that last Bactria video, I was getting all upset about because of that satrapy thing. It just doesn't make sense, and it seems like it'd be something that's pretty easy to fix. So those frustrate me a little. It's not going to make me stop playing the game or tick me off to the point where I'm going to start like raging and ranting. Um, but it, it is something that I wish would get taken care of. So it just doesn't seem like it needs to be there. Okay, I'm going to positions these skirmishers in a few different areas where that wall's damaged they're not wanting to position that's fine um, skirmishers. get some more here missile warriors keep watch okay all right there I've got some skirmishers positioned Proud Romans all. get some of my stronger legionary units ready to uh, to defend the gaps in the wall. Melee infantry. And these were the gaps that I made, by the way. Legionaries. I'd prefer not to lose any of my legionnaires. Cavalry. We hunger for here. blood and battle. I might actually put this cab over here, and if I get the chance to run outside the walls to do that. Siege engines ready to fire. All right, let's uh, go ahead and start the battle. The AI has ladders, which are unnecessary because there's already holes in the wall. I would hope here that the AI realizes that and at least drops some of the ladders and tries to get through the holes. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Here comes my Onager fire. Onager and Ballista, that is. Uh, they may not be in range of my Onager, actually, so it should be just Ballista, actually, at this point. These woden -ass spears are getting pooped on by my Ballista. Completely fine with me. Take those guys off skirmish, actually. I'd like to see what the damage is on that ladder. Oh, come on, Onager. Uh, or Ballista. Someone told me that you can... I want to try something. They told me that you can just all. Oh, yeah. Check that out. You can hold all and then click where you want the shots to land. Let's try that. I had no idea you could fire at the ground. That's pretty handy. Thanks for the tip. I do pay attention to the tips you all give me, by the way. I uh, try to. I don't always remember them all, so I apologize for that. Yeah, sweet. We actually hit the ladders that time. AI is taking bloody forever to move up their ladders. Could be because they have a lot of reinforcements coming. Sometimes the AI does weird things with reinforcements. It likes to get them all positioned just the way it likes. Those ladders have got to be taking some damage. Yep, we destroyed those ladders. Let's try the same thing here and see if we can hit these. I'm just targeting right in front of the ladder so that hopefully the, uh, the shots will come down in the right area. Try the same thing there with my uh, other piece of siege equipment. That was actually fairly effective. Go ahead and redirect our shots. The Onager ought to actually be a little more damaging than my Ballista, I would think. It's a good shot. I'm going to keep retargeting my aim, see if I can finish off any more of these ladders. Oh, that was a terrible volley. Got a whole bunch of Germanic troops coming up on this flank. Hopefully we get a better volley here. Really nice. But I don't really know why I'm trying to destroy the ladders. I think I'm trying to destroy it because I think that the AI will be dumb enough to um, try and go for the gates if I destroy it. Uh, got a little bit of ladder damage there. 
just gonna go ahead and target these things, let them do their work. We've got the biggest part of all of these troops coming towards this area, so I'm gonna redirect some of my skirmishers to that vicinity. Other guys may be running for the breaches in the wall with this. What the heck are you doing? I give you an order to go up on the wall and you start running outside? You're still running outside. What are you. What are you. What is this? It's an idiot party, that's what it is. Look at these guys. Start running out the wall. You gotta be kidding me. Exactly what I need. At least these Germanic youths are being stupid enough to use um, flaming shot and not cause the amount of damage that they should be. AI is trying to burn the gate. <laughs> There's clearly a hole right here. So either patch 8.1 doesn't patch forward with the fixes of the CJI, or else there's still some major problems with the CJI because um, there that would be the hole in the wall, and here's the idiots dying while burning the gates. So, yeah, it still needs a little work. I'm not trying to be mean to the people who are trying to fix it. I'm just trying to give some uh, brutally honest feedback here, and I think honest feedback's what's needed sometimes. Okay, I got guys coming up the ladders over here. I'm gonna have to come and uh, fight them back. Pull Caesar over here just a little bit. Look, now these guys are gonna probably start trying to come through the, the hole in the wall or something like they're they're going back out the ladder. So, yeah, look, my guys have an attack order and they're running around all in weird directions. Hey, I put the ladders up, and now it's One not going to. used all its ammunition. Now it's not even going to go up the ladders. At the devil! Skirmishers! Honestly, it doesn't make oh, much sense. Bro! I don't know. I guess I'm trying to claim to understand. Yeah, oh, now they're all going for the hole in the wall. I think. I, I don't know what they're doing. I can't figure it out. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, Onager, you need to go back here. You too. Let's just start getting them out of the way. Blips! Infantry at your command. At the devil. Okay, are these yeah, okay, these guys are now going to try and come through the hole. I think they're all going to try and come through the hole in the wall now. I think. I honestly don't know what to expect. At this point. To engage! We await your command! All right. Orders understood. Yeah, got all the Germanic troops just bunched up over here. Like, what are these guys doing? There's a hole in the wall. They're not doing anything, and then these guys jab ones here, get thrown and bounced off the wall. That doesn't bother me. And we're just completely destroying these Spear Brothers that tried to get in right there. these longbow hunters will finish firing out their ammunition. Yeah, this AI can't siege to save its life. Um, they've stopped trying to burn the gate at this point, even though it's nearly destroyed. And they've, they're have they sending units piecemeal through the hole in the wall. So that's an interesting tactic. It's the piecemeal suicide tactic. Not one you're going to read about in most history books. I mean, the AI could actually be giving me a fair challenge right now if it would just rush me, um, or, or or try on it. Let's see, Germanic slingers. Those guys are going to be owning on me. Missiles ready. Guys back. I'm going to pull these guys back here to make harder for those slingers out there to hit them. Put them behind these buildings. Okay, so. They've stopped sending units through the gates. We have captured for the, the moment. gates. Recaptured the gates. My towers are going to open fire again. They're still not trying to burn the gates. I wonder if they stopped burning the gates because they were in the process of capturing it. Let's let's see if they start again. Because if that's the case, this no, they're still not trying to burn down the gates. Very odd behavior. And then they're look. What what is this? 
Is this the stare at the wall tactic? I sorry, I'm I'm really like complaining way too much, but I mean what is this? The, I mean the AI is completely glitched out. Sitting in front of my gate doing nothing. Sitting in front of an open hole doing nothing. I mean they're they're in fact standing like halfway halfway in. So, uh, am I supposed to attack them? Because I was pretty sure they attacked me. This honestly doesn't make the least bit of sense. I'm going to put these guys on the wall right here and see if I can shoot these guys with javelins and prod them into doing something, because they are doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maybe I can tease them with my cab or something and get them to move. I don't want to sit here glitched out. It's starting to get annoying. They're glitching out like this honestly more often. It's really irritating. We hunger for blood it's happened a couple of times in my um, Bactria campaign as well. And hey, look, these guys turn around now and start shooting. They have ammo. Sitting there doing nothing with their ammo. Well, they dispatched a Germanic scout rider this time. But it doesn't even have an attack order. It's like it's trying to sneak around me. It's completely charged. I... The AI is a complete mystery to me. Standing here taking javelins. They have ammo with their skirmishers who are just sitting back here doing nothing. At least I thought they did. I don't know. Those guys have their swords out. So they're either in melee mode or they're out of ammo. Light horse! I'm not going to come out of the gates, but I don't want this episode to just be 30 minutes of me doing nothing. Let's see, I just went over here on kind of a nuisance run to see if I could get their army to do anything. kind of reposition that isn't doing anything. Still just sitting out here not attacking while my guy is just Deadly hurl javelins at him. And they're just getting shot to death with my arrow towers too. Feel like one of our units has used all its ammunition. Waiting on the AI to do something, though. Oh, what kind of troops do they have down here? Right, running out of the gates, though, could very well get me killed. I'm just not sure it's a good idea. Club Levy is a little too far forward. I'm going to charge it with my scout riders. Pretty sure I can collapse it. Not nearly as much effect as I thought it would have against Club Levy, to be honest. I still think my scout riders are up to the task. It's just Club Levy. Uh, I guess I'm just going to come outside and attack these guys. I, I can't take 30 minutes to sit here trying to commentate over pure stupidity. Can't tell ears frustrated folks. No idea why I have to put up with this. It is just the strangest thing to me. The AI in this game. It's. I don't know. I, I never saw the AI do stuff like this in the other Total Wars. That's why it's kind of confusing to me. And again, I'm not trying to be. Really? This club levy is going to kill my scout riders? Or no, no, that's a new unit, that's a spear unit. I killed the club levy, but now my light horsemen are completely dead, basically, because I wasn't paying attention. That's what I get for sitting around griping the whole time. But see, now look, this works out perfectly. The AI can now surround me and use its numbers just the way it needs to. Get Caesar up here. Victoria, 
Unity command. He's the uh, Union general is dead. It's war crisis out here. Fire command. Unity command. Basically, just dropping all of my general abilities out here to hopefully. Give my men the edge. They need to win this the fight. General is dead. I am horribly outnumbered right here, but qualitatively speaking, I should have a big advantage over the Germans. Plus, I have all those crazy Caesar abilities that tend to make my men quite unbreakable. My scout riders got away, and okay, all the German troops are fleeing now. At your service. All right, so we managed to push back the glitchy AI that took up a lot of my recording time. That's about it. That's annoying. Get the heck out. Come back when you're ready to issue some movement and attack orders, you goons. That way people don't have to be annoyed by me complaining the whole time. Sorry, folks. I guess I'm in a kind of a complaining mood, I guess. I don't want you to have to watch episodes of me complaining, so I'll try and contain it, but... Come on, you have to share my frustration just a little bit. And again, I'm not one of those Rome 2 haters that's sitting here talking about how terrible this game is. It's the worst game that's ever made. It ruined the series. I disagree with all those things, but it's still not going to mean I'm not going to get frustrated whenever I see stuff that should be better, in my opinion. Okay, so Caesar ranks up, which is pretty cool. That is one thing that I love about the Caesar and Gaul campaign. There's more turns per year, which means your general levels up. You actually get to take advantage of these higher levels of your general. I, I find this all very nice. I'm going to upgrade his zeal. Ooh, wow, man, that one gives a ton of stuff. Fearless warrior. We'll go ahead and go with that. Yeah, look at the attack and weapon damage on my legionnaires. That is nice. So way be in a world of hurt. Uberzus can now be built... Back to the way I need. I am going to build a muster field here. Oh, not another temple. I mean, I've already got temple spam here. Um, go ahead and just build. Let's put suburbia here. Add in some suburban countryside. All right. This army in Sagun, uh, Sagodunum however you say that, is still kind of retraining. Let's use a little bit of my money to shore this area up. This gives me more lead to trade, more wealth from industry. It does take away two food, but that should be worthwhile. It doesn't add any squalor. So I'm just making sure I'm not adding one that's going to add a bunch of squalor. And let's see, where's Mark Anthony at? So Anthony, one more turn of training, and you know what? I'm going to... I got 20 out of 20 there, so that's all the units I can train. And you all, you all see that? I use a little tip here. Notice that you all pointed that out to me. Thank you for the tips that you all give me, by the way. I try to put them to use. Um, try to. Yeah, I think we can end a turn unless there's any other skills to divvy out, which I don't believe there is. <laughs> Sway be going at me from all kinds of directions. So they're going to attack me at Argentorit. Not going to happen. So auto resolve and beat them back there. Dream on. Take a kick to the nuts. Move along. The howling wolves were put down. Neutered, if you will. Looks like the blood swans. I wonder if that's supposed to be sworn. Blood swans? blood swans. Well, yes, blood swan, because you're going to now be covered in your own blood for having come against Caesar. Makes me think as he's dying there that he's singing the song Dream On to himself, um, because he was never going to win that battle. Anyway, the Swaby now breaking up and heading off into the woods. Uh, we finished the research on mercenary auxiliaries, which means mercenaries will be cheaper now. Not a huge deal for me. I don't. I'm not relying on them heavily at this point. So uh, we do have a trespasser, though. The Sequani. I know the Sequani. I think we're one of the ones that would never make a deal with me. They don't like my expansionism. 
And they have cultural aversion, so these guys are likely to turn on me soon. I have we tried are to... Although my ancestors and people expect talk with purpose and honesty. Yeah, these guys just don't want anything to do with my offers. I'm about half inclined to just move out of Helvetia with, um, with Anthony and just crush them before they can backstab me. Because they're not really dealing with me the way I'd like for them to. Hey, do I? Let's see. Same thing with these guys. They're, they're not really having anything to do with me. Greetings, I think friend. they all end up turning against we me anyway. I, I, I believe there's some wish. type of realm divide thing, thing that goes on here. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I'm going to be invading all of Gaul anyway. Some of you want me to take Massalia. But I don't have any reason to really take Massalia right now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd like to have it. Even they hate me. Man. Everybody hates me because of the expansionism thing. I can't afford to be fighting a war against every one of these crazies, too. I do believe the Rutini are dead. We could take this army back here. And knock out Massalia. Well, these guys, the Vacantii, are actually my allies. Looks like. Even they don't like me because of the expansion. Well, that expansionism is quite the penalty there. They're my client state and they hate me. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are no. Wow. It seems like this is going to get interesting. More interesting than I had thought. Um, we need to pick something to research. I've got some money. Let's see if any of this politics things would help me. I've done a lot of them during the last winter. Ten textiles. Let's go ahead and re research that one on the end of this turn. It's relatively cheap. Just get some of these out of the way. Swaby moving on. Or, yeah, Swaby, you're just kind of running off and suffering attrition. Sequani moving in to take out the Swaby. That kind of makes sense. I'll assist them in this fight. Um... Hopefully that'll restore some stuff there. But they are trespassing against me as well, which is not helping things. But it doesn't look like they intend to stay in my land there. So Sequani twice trespass. Trees with Sequani. Battle support, though. See, that bought me some more... Rapport with them. So that was actually worth it to join in, I think. Let's see, we can upgrade some buildings up here in New Berzis. Ooh, I can get longbow hunters. Heck yes. Building an auxiliary camp. Um, a library? I don't know if the library is really worth it to. Ooh, that one gives me a whole lot of extra wealth. I'm gonna do that. I kind of want to take Massalia. It's gonna be a tough sell though because they got a lot of troops. I think they're Greek type troops, which means they probably don't have any competent swordsmen. Eh, what the heck. Let's attack Massalia. Should be a lot of fun. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel the move. That's for the next episode because I think I'm out of time. Anyway, Air of Carthage signing off for now.